Happy Friday, everyone. I uh, figured I just do a little YouTube video on um, just setting up the login and sign up screen for uh, Clava app and also doing a couple onboarding screens. Um, so I'm just going to jam out to the new Drake album, huge fan, while I design and you know, talk to you guys. Yeah. Add onboarding one page here. What's your guy? You guys got to comment. What's your favorite song? If you guys like the album, I know not a lot of people do, but I'm a fan. Okay, it's hold an option. Move these. Okay. Sweet. Okay, and what we're gonna do is. Copy this button. And we're going to make this. Sweet. You know, I want to see if this, how this looks. Oh, it's like kind of like that look. I feel like this has to be lighter though. Eh. Yeah, that might be better. Different shadows. Always fifteen and thirty. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Okay. And need a back button. Move back, move back here. I'm just singing. Don't mind me. You gotta enjoy creating, you know. Uh, a little chevron. Alright. Alright, it's looking it's looking nice. Alright, so I'm actually gonna design some 3D assets on in Spline. Create a new folder. If you don't know Spline, great 3D asset maker program. Alright, so let's make this perspective. Position, make sure the rotation is zero, zero. Alright, so we got this cube. Sweet. Okay, don't want snapping. All right, so we are gonna make a video camera. So let me go get the inspiration for this. Mm -hmm. Mm, I think it's in here. Take this, yeah, and we're going to export this. You know, move it to desktop. Alright, 
So definitely want to get that similar. So we're going to create layer here. And what we're going to do is extrude this. All right, boom. Okay, okay, looking good. Actually, we're going to, yeah, we're gonna get the face here. far okay perfect 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 These little actually let's go back to cutting this yeah this is kind of looking nice okay so we got the base of that so then what we're gonna do next, get a nice little cylinder in here. I love Spline. Spline is such a great tool. I was so scared to dive into 3D design and this feels this this feels a lot like Figma, this design tool. This whole outlet, this whole layout. Okay, look at this looking like a legitimate video camera. Okay. Okay. No, actually, it's just going to be easier. I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, perfect. Okay. And then, okay, that's looking really nice. Okay, so I'm going to add now a little. I'm gonna add like a little. Yeah, let's make it like. Make it like this big. Maybe like a little screen almost. Move this up here. Yeah. And let's make sure I can see this. Okay, so I'm gonna just. Okay. All right. Move this down. 
Let's bring this all up just above the plane. Okay. And then add some circles. Like little buttons. That could be like the record icon. Okay, the, yeah, okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and start adding some material to this. Physical and we're gonna make what colors are. Yeah, I'm gonna make it like this purple. This is definitely going to be a red. Yep. And let's make sure this also has a physical, physical. And let's go ahead and bring this light over. Perfect. Okay, so I think I can delete this since I have this and actually I gotta go back in there and push this in like that. Now it looks like video camera. Perfect. Okay. And I'm just gonna give this some corner radius. And maybe a little more. Yeah, looks a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to add some accent color here. Probably going to use this green. And let's see if I can get let's, uh, let's grab this. Make it a little darker. I'm just going to use this, actually. Make sure it's physical. Make sure it's physical. Now you guys could definitely let me uh, group this together. I'll just call this film one. Film two. Screen. Recording. Camera. So you guys could definitely. I think this needs to be black in here. And that's I can get away with that. It actually fits perfect. So we have a video camera. Okay, so just so you guys know, if you wanted to, like I could go ahead and, you know, click here and add this as a material and I could be like uh, camera, camera. It always does this, dark purple. Okay, and then what I can do here is like I can go into these cylinders here 
and I can just click this so that you don't have to you know essentially go to each element and you know apply it and this sometimes happens by the way Oh, it's because I click double. Okay. All right. Okay, so I think, I think, oh, I gotta center this. Why is there two? So I'm gonna I'm gonna add this I'm gonna export this asset kind of want to see something you know what before I know we're 16 minutes in but I kind of want to add a yeah and we're gonna overlay this So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to export. We're actually gonna play. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we're gonna make. We're just gonna export this. Image two. Ng. Video camera. All right. Head on over to Dello. And what I'm gonna do is. make this 88 by 88 and we're gonna upload video camera I'm done I had the background so and we're gonna want to zoom in a lot more okay Okay, little 3D asset, and what we can do, yeah. Okay, so cool. So we're gonna go into some database stuff real quick. Um, I just wanna make sure, yeah, okay. So what we'll do is, what I wanna first, what type of information I wanna take from the user first, you gotta determine that. So for sign up, I'm going to choose email, username, password. Um, so when I go to users, these are what we're already tracking. So we have username, email, password. This stuff is for the live streaming stuff. I'll explain this later. But if I go in here and I click create user, no, create user, it's going to ask input email. This is going to be username and it's going to be passwords. Okay, so what it's saying is, where am I getting this email content from? Okay, so you're going to click the magic text button, going to other, other components, you're going to get from the input email because the user is going to be putting their email in the input email text field. And when you click submit, Adela is going to read what they put and they would put it in the database. Same with input password and same with input username. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to link them to onboarding one. And I personally like it being none. So then don't have an account, we're gonna add link and we're gonna go to sign up. And we're gonna click none. Now actually we're gonna slide up. 
and this is going to be link uh, back. Okay. Okay, and then yeah, this is dope. Okay, and then for submit, I'm gonna do update. I'm gonna do um, more user login login. We're gonna sign up through email, and this is gonna be from input email. Password's gonna be input password. And then after that, we are going to link to the home screen. And it's going to be none. So pretty much what this is saying is, when a user goes to log in, where we get in the email, the Adele has to look up in the, in the database, essentially, okay, where I need to get this user's account information. So we're going to look up the user's email they put in and the password. And if it matches with the user, we're going to log them in, and they're going to send them to the home screen, right? So that's easy. Okay, so I'm boarding. Um, I'm going to keep this simple. Uh, okay, let's just put this. What did we put? And Sans, make sure it's bold. Okay, copy this down. Make this 18. Okay, so I'm going to copy this, I don't like this.
Mm. Okay, I like that better. And then. So I like this, okay. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the styles. And we're gonna make this auto. I gotta make sure these are all auto. Yeah, okay, good. Auto. Auto. Okay, go into here. Can we get a dark green? Yeah. And make this light green again. And bring this white. Okay, so I'm gonna go black into my spine tool. And And what we're going to do is start a new file. We're going to call this cache. The text. into a carrot convert this into a shape we're gonna look at it we're gonna do a little extrusion we're gonna blow it up more and we should position that's because that's uh, damn, I forgot how to okay. To go. Okay, and then we need to add some corner radius to it. like uh we're gonna make this look really cool too oh yeah let's get a fresno oh yeah let's go mm-hmm This is looking nice. Wonder if we can get this nice little glass to Ooh. 
Okay. 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 Export this. That's when I see how PNGs look. Cash. It's, uh, honestly, we, c yeah. of the glass I think so we're gonna remove the glass I don't mind this actually. I'm going to say next. We're going to f we're going to add a f it's going to stay at the bottom. Now this guy is going to be up here like this. I'm going to make this 105 44 and
reduce this a little. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Okay. So what I've done is I've shown you how to add 3D assets. Um, I've shown you how to add 3D assets to your Dell app. There's your 3D asset. I'm going to create an account. This has to be brighter. So why is it that color? Perfect. And then, yeah, um, that's that. So I just want to show you guys, uh, I, I'm sorry I couldn't get through all the onboarding. Um, it's just a lot of stuff. I'm going to have to do some more 3D stuff. Um, but if you guys want to see that, you know, I'm more than happy to go through it, but we're already at 38 minutes. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Adele is a powerful tool. Glad you tuned in.